of right now, testing for the coronavirus symptoms remain isolated to emergency rooms, urgent care, or drive-through testing sites. But being tested at home is starting to become a viable option. I certainly think that the capacity to do testing at home from the comfort of your home um, could be a very potentially good thing going forward because it would certainly increase access to testing. At home testing is now available from LabCorp. The company's Pixel test is the first at home COVID-19 test to receive FDA emergency use authorization. Um, I'm sure it was a, a huge barrier to figure out if patients would collect the sample right. But one of the interesting things about this test is that it doesn't have, the swab doesn't have to go all the way down into the back of the nose. The swab can actually just go into the nasal tip. Those wanting to take the $120 test first fill out a questionnaire to see if they are eligible. Then the company sends the test, which must be mailed back for results. I think that this test probably will be utilized mostly by people who, who may have mild symptoms or who are relatively well, or potentially in the future by people who are close contacts of someone who's a known positive. Similar to the test conducted right now at medical facilities, the test can only tell you if your result is positive or negative at the time you took the test. Eventually, we think that there may also be antibody testing. Those antibody tests will tell you, have you been exposed to the virus at some point in the past and could you be immune to the virus? But this is the first step. I think in general, the more testing we do, the better a grip we're gonna get on this within our community. Currently, the test is only available on LabCorp's website to healthcare workers and first responders. The company says it hopes to make it available soon to the general public. Well, later on Valley News Live at 6, Starbucks has announced it will extend its free coffee for first responders deal. Details right after this.